Okay, so let's keep working on these eyes. Um, so what I might do is, um, hmm, I'll bring down the strength of my draw tool, and I will. See, the trick is that you've got to start the stroke um, outside of this sphere. Because if you start it on the sphere, you just change to the sphere. So I'm just going to have to come in here and bite the bullet and just um, bring out the. Oops. Bring out the sort of the, the center of this this eye like that. And then I can come back with the um, the shift key and smooth it out with the alt key and um, pull the edges of it back down. And um, now that we've got the, uh, th the center of this, this eye bulge out, I don't need to worry too much about the uh, the edges here because I will be um, I will be able to sort of move out from this this central point. So I'm I'm just going to come up here and make sure that the uh, the top and bottom of this eye socket is sort of nicely tucked in, has that sort of fold to it, and I'm also going to smooth out these areas. I think we can suck that in a bit more and smooth that out. Cool. Uh, and now if we sort of um, if we smooth this out and then come in with the with just the basic sort of draw brush Oops. and just sort of build out from this eye like that and um, let's just sort of see, make sure that isn't too much of a bulge there. That's, it's alright. And uh, in keeping with our sort of semi-anime style, you can see that this is quite a, um, a big-eyed character. So I'm just going to reduce the brush size just so that we can um, so that we can increase this further out like that and uh, you notice that we're we're almost losing that sphere in the mesh but that's okay because we are actually going to be uh, coming back in with the with the sculpting on this um, this skin, and we're actually going to be cutting into this skin to to reveal the eyeball underneath. So don't panic. So there we go. Now that we've done that, we have a much better much better um, sort of bulge there. And we're still sort of, we're still clicking on that uh, sphere every now and then. Which is fine. Now I'm going to take that mask off and I'm going to fix up some of this um, sort of artifacting that we've got here where the edge of the mask might have stopped us from um, getting more of a sort of a smooth edge. Okay. And now I'm going to um, draw in some eyes. To do that I'm going to take the brush size down quite a bit and I'll go back to my grab a brush because I really want geometry around this eye to do this. So make sure that you don't leave any sort of big 
triangles that could cause problems with the um, with the masking that we're that we're going to be doing. And that, that might be overkill, but we can always come back with a reduced brush and um, take those down a bit more. So what I'll be doing now is um, just hold down Control and just um, just draw where you think the eye is going to be, and draw an open eye. Now the trick with eyes is to get the the actual opening as as rounded as possible while still sort of uh, keeping that um, that sort of almond shape that that um, cutting into the corner of the eye so I'm just going to make sure that we go all the way over there and then we can come in with the control and alt and sharpen up these corners just a little bit at a time just so that we can we can have a corner to the eye rather than a um, rather than it being an oval uh, as with most most things sculptress you don't have to be overly sort of accurate because you can always fix this stuff up so if the shape is wrong uh, after you've sculpted you can just grab it move it around and you'll you'll be fine so now that we've got a sort of an eye shape drawn on I'm going to um, yeah I'll just uh, I'll just go straight into it uh, I'm going to reverse the mask make sure I've got my grab selected uh, I think hmm maybe I will go with the draw yeah I'll go with the draw um, no I'll go with grab no I'll go with draw no I'll go with grab um, and with a nice strong grab tool and a nice large size um, brush I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to move this eye in like that and um, that'll give us just a nice little bit of a, a uniform look there and now I'll switch to the draw brush and um, let's see is that sphere still in there? doesn't look like the sphere's still in there does it? Oh, there, there they are um, and that is one way to sort of select these spheres let's to uh, do this I'm just gonna uh, grab this go back to global now how do we just um, put the the mask on one object if we do that we'll go in here and uh, do this hmm I'm really not sure Unfortunately, it looks like it's now treating this object as being the same as that object. So if we're doing that... Well, those spheres were only ever a placeholder anyway. So I guess instead of um, just 
um, just using the spheres themselves as eyes. We can use this surface that we've we've sort of sculpted out. We can make that the eye instead. Which isn't quite what I I had in mind, but it will it will work. Man, I wish there was a way that I could just do this. No, it's just not going to work. All right, well. Still got global on. Mm. Yeah, it's not in there. Okay. Well, sometimes you just have to uh, go with the with the flow and just sort of accept that things aren't going to work out quite the way that you expected them to. And that eye looks terrible, so I'm just going to say that doing the eyelids like this can result in some sort of fairly crooked looking eyelids. So you will have to go in there and repair some of these edges because they do look a little bit sort of funky. I think that might actually be the sphere there. I'm not quite sure what uh, happened to make to make the uh, the spheres unmask like that. Perhaps I uh, did something with the masking that I shouldn't have done. But if you can uh, figure out what I did wrong, please post a comment. But uh, for now, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to um, smooth this out a little bit. And I'm going to crease the inside of this eyelid like that. And you can see how the eye does that. And make sure that you smooth out this eye surface as much as possible. And uh, holding Alt with the crease brush can sort of uh, a little bit higher can create a, a sort of a, a nice hard edge like that. And this is a real sort of example of how you can tell that I'm not using a, <laughs> a stylus at all because that's that's what happens with the uh, with the mouse. this sort of stuff. But again you can come back in here with this grab tool and you can sort of uh, move it back into a better alignment. Like that. So and also using the pinch tool can be a way to get that sort of that hard edge a little bit better. Because the pinch tool is is actually made for this sort of thing, made for this hard edge type thing. Okay, and again coming in with the crease, just to delineate that eyelid from the eyeball. If we turn off. 
frame, we can see that we're getting those those hard edges that we need. I'm just going to smooth out this eyeball a bit better. Yeah, we've definitely got like two sort of um, objects overlapping there. And that is the unfortunate thing with Sculptress is that it doesn't keep these objects separately, separate. It does make one object. Um, Out of the out of all of the meshes, and it just keeps them separate with masks. And if the masks get disabled, then that's it. You have got a problem on your hands. So now go over this, and I'm going to smooth out as much of this jaggedness as I can. And you notice that the hard edges of the eyelids are sort of mainly sort of holding because we've used that pinch. Go back to wireframe. Again, go back to crease just to get that sort of delineation there. If you find that a crease has gone in the wrong direction, you can sort of come back in over that crease and redraw it to where it needs to go. crease is, is sort of like pinch, it, it sort of, it re maps the, um, the polygons around it. Hmm, I'm going into the tools there. So there we go. And now you can see that this edge around here is practically glowing with polygons. So uh, what we will do is we will come in here with the reduce brush and just sort of take out a lot of the, a lot of the polygons here because it will try to uh, preserve the edges that we've put in as long as we preserve those edges it'll be fine and having less polygons will make it look better when it renders and it'll also be easier to manipulate when we um, when we come in here and sort of start moving things around a bit more okay so now I'm just going to see if I can Clean up this edge somewhat. So you can see how getting that initial eye shape can really sort of improve on the overall effect. And uh, when I come back, I'll be trying to make this eye look a little bit better. So I'll see you for that one.